So if, if as you know that my first video I made that Satan uh, uh, messengers uh, didn't go through, didn't go well. So here go, I'm gonna do it again. So I'm asking y'all for, for y'all prayers. And my message is dealing with who are the damn pastors and who are the damn prophetess. And the reason why they're damn, because St. Mark 16, verse 16 say, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And also book of Galatian, book of Galatian, where Paul say, who are damned? He said, I marveled. He said, I'm surprised that ye are so removed from him that calls you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. What Paul was saying that the Galatian church, he surprised that the Galatian church are so, so, so fast to move from the death, the burial, and resurrection. He said, I marvel that you are so, so soon removed from him that call you to grace of Christ unto another gospel. The grace of God is with the gospel. But if there's no grace there, it's not a gospel. Verse 7, which is not another. But there are some that trouble you. Who are the people that trouble us? People that preaching another gospel. And I, I heard this pastor, and you know who it is. He said 85% of Jesus Christ's uh, message, he was in disobedient. 85% 85, 85 of his message, he was disobedient to his father. And, and the pastor go on and say that when Jesus was 17, his father died. And Jesus Christ took up responsibility to take care of his sibling because he was the oldest. I know Jesus Christ was the oldest because Jesus he was born first. Then Mary had as, as, as uh, sons and daughters after Jesus. But they know in the Bible it says that Jesus, he glory to God, uh, 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 was 17 and his father Joseph would died. Joseph was a, was a carpenter. Jesus was a carpenter. And his father was a carpenter. But it didn't say that, glory to God, that, that Joseph died at age 17. That's why I don't listen to theologians. I listen to the word of God. And even, uh, they say that Paul here was cut off on a, on a, on, on, on New York chopping board. The Bible don't say that. Amen. Glory to God. So we got to be very careful in, in verse 7 say, which is not another, but there are some that trouble you and will pervert. Anytime people are perverting the gospel of Christ, they're preaching another gospel. Amen. But though we, Paul was saying, if anybody come with another gospel, let them be a damn. Let them be damned. And damn mean curse. I'm not cursing. I'm just telling you what are the damn pastors and what are the damn prophet or prophetess or damn teacher are those that preaching another gospel. Listen to what I say. But though we or angel from heaven preach another gospel unto you that which ye have preached unto you, let him be a curse. Let him be damned. It's in the text. Glory to God. And we, we got to stop. Listen, if you're sitting in a congregation and your pastor is preaching another twisted message, walk out. Because if you don't walk out, you are partaker. And if you say amen, you are partaker of the mess rather than hearing the message of the Bible. Amen. We are living a time where people, hey, glory to God. The Bible says open rebuke is better than secret love. Re rebuke and open it. Like I mentioned before, when I used to go to church, I baptized believers. This prophetess, this false prophetess, she prophets, prophet lie on people because she hear people conversation and come back and say the Lord say. And she called me up. And she let me stand there until everybody finished. She said, Mac, go sit down. You know why? Because I was going to rebuke her and tell her that the God did not say. How does God communicate with us? God communicate with us through the word. And if God, 
Amen. If God, if somebody, if somebody touch God and tell God to, to tell them to go to you about the situation, that's God. But if God ain't say nothing to them and they come back and say, God say, and God ain't tell you, that's false. That's false prophecy. That's heresy. That's false. Amen. That's prophet lying. Hey, glory to God. And we, we got to be stopped so close to people. If Listen, can, can we talk? If you see a book in my nose, you ought to tell me, excuse me, it's a book. Don't let me walk around with a, with a foreign object in my nose. If my breath stinks, don't let, let me walk around. Hey, glory to God. Say my breath stinks. Give me a mint. Give me, give me a mint. Like if somebody is in fallacy and somebody in fabrication and somebody preaching another gospel, tell them, excuse me. That's not of God. Excuse me. Where in the Bible is say that? Amen. We gotta be, we gotta listen, we gotta be bold. Amen. We gotta be bold as soldiers. We can't be cowards. Amen. And somebody preaching another gospel, let them be damned. Amen. So the Bible says, verse 9, as we said before, so I say now. Again, Paul said, I'm going to repeat after again and again. If any man preach a woman, preach the gospel unto you, let them be a curse. Let them be damned. Because Mark 16, verse 16 say, He that believeth and baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. The damned people. I preach it. The damned devil. The damned people. Now, there's damn pastors and damn prophetess. Jamal Bryan is damn. Celestial. Hallelujah, she's damn. And I'm going to tell you why she's damn. Because she's preaching, hey, glory to God, UFO and aliens. I heard in one of her, her message, she said that demons can be incarnated. Demon can put on flesh. Excuse me. Demon can't put on a flesh. Demon works or operate in us. Amen. And demons cannot inhabit Christians. They can influence us, but they can't get in us. What I say? They can influence us, but they can't in us. Why they can't get in us? They can't get in us because we have a housekeeper. We have the power. We have the Holy Ghost in us. The Bible says when an unclean spirit leaves a man, he go through drivers places and cigarettes and find none then they say let's go into the house where we came from and the last state of the man is worse in the first place so a christian cannot be possessed oppressed by demons let me say it again slowly christian cannot be possessed with demons because all through the bible people come to jesus to be to be Glory to God, deliver from demons. Amen. Come on. Because the Bible says, when the sop was given to Judas, the, the devil went into Judas. And Judas went, hallelujah, and, and he betrayed Jesus. And then he came back and gave them, say, I have sold an innocent blood. I have betrayed an innocent blood. And he didn't, he didn't repent. He went and hung himself. So I'm saying to you, in verse 9, as we say before, so I now say again, if any man preach another gospel unto you that what ye have received, let them be damned. Because if you look at the word accursed, it means damn. Damn, yes, they're damned. And we we are stop being so so nice. And look at look at when Jamal Bryan, amen, was preaching that message. Amen. How Marvin Sapp was there. And Marvin Sapp was partaker of the mess that Ma ja Jamal Brown was, was, was preaching. He said Jesus Christ was 85% wrong in his ministry. 85, so I mean 15% he was right? That's false prophet. And you're a partaker, if, if you are sitting in a congregation and your pastor is twisting the scripture, you're a partaker of that mess. And the Bible says, the blind lead the blind and both fall into the ditch. So if you listen to Celestial, the master's voice, 
and you say she's a man, she's a woman of God, you are a partaker of her mess. Because God is not about, about doom. Well, I say God is not about doom. God is about repentance. Poor preacher. Isaiah and Hezekiah. God told Isaiah to tell Hezekiah, set the house in order. You're going to die and not live. And the Bible say, hallelujah. As soon as Isaiah told Hezekiah, Hezekiah turned to the wall and cried. And, and he was crying like a buku, he was buku crying. And God said, I heard him. And he, and he went back and told him, I'm going to give him 15 more years on his life. And then, glory to God, he didn't stop right there. He didn't take no fun. He told a, a fig and put on the boil and heal him. I'm talking about the damn prophet and prophetess and damn teachers. Y'all don't know the Bible. Y'all following people. And you know why people follow? You know why people follow false prophet? They follow false prophet because they don't know the word. They're ignorant of the scripture. Amen. They, they like Jim Jones. The reason why all the people died under Jim Jones, because they didn't study to show this. They're not, they're not like the church of Berea. They're not like, like what the Bible say, planted by the rivers of water in due season. They should bring forth fruit. Every time we read the word of God, every time we hear the word of God, make sure you are hearing what thoughts say the Lord, not what flesh say, not what from your heart say, not your opinion. Amen. Opin what is opinion? Opinion is your logic. Listen, this Bible is a spiritual book. It's not a carnal book. Only a spiritual man can understand a thing that's spiritual because it's spiritual to discern. And if somebody come with another gospel, they are damned. Yes, they are damned. They are damned. They are damned teachers. They are damned prophets. They are damned prophets and damned pastors. Who are the damned? The damned is if you're preaching another gospel. Hallelujah. The Bible, listen to the Bible. The Bible say, as we say before, so say it now again. If any man preach another gospel, that means that if they ain't preaching grace, they preaching damnation. That's not, that's not, that's not the gospel. The gospel is about repentance. He said, I didn't come, I didn't come to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved. If you, if you are hearing people bringing people dirty laundry on sight and say they're going to die, they're going to die. That's not the gospel. Just Christ say, the Bible say, he's not willing that any shall perish, but all men shall come to repentance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm talking about people that are damned. And if you, and if, could, could the Bible say, what does the Bible say? I'm going to tell you, the Bible say, glory to God, in the book of Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, hey, glory to God, which, I, which I really hear people preach about, the book of Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy start off, and, and it shall come to pass, if thou hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all the commandment which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. Amen. All nation of the earth. And all his blessing shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord. What is the voice of the Lord? The voice of the Lord is the Bible. The voice is of the of, of the of the Lord is when God, when you open the Bible, God is speaking to you. Because he told them, my word are spirit and they are life. That's why he told them, he told them, labor not for the meat that perish, but labor for the meat which they endure to everlasting life, what the Son of God going to give. And the Bible says, blessed shall I be in a city, and blessed shall I be in a field. Blessed shall there be fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind, and the flock of thy sheep. Blessed shall I be the basket of their store. Blessed shall I be when thou goest out, comest in. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemy to rise up against thee. Amen. To be smitten before thy face. They shall come 
out against thee one way and flee these seven ways. But listen now, hey, glory to God, curse come, what curse come? Curse come, but it shall come to pass. If thou would not hearken, the word hearken mean listening unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all the commandment and his statue which I command thee this day. All these curses shall come upon thee. And guess what, my friend? That's why Jesus Christ become the curse for us. Cursed he that hangeth on a tree that we might believe on Jesus. And all these curses shall come upon thee. And it will take thee. Curse shall not be in the city. Curse shall not be in the basket, in the field. Curse shall not be the basket of and that store. Curse shall not be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of the land, the increase of thy kind, the flock of thy sheep. Curse shall not be when thou comest in, and curse shall be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, rebuke, in all that thou settest thy heart unto to do until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doing whereby thou hast forsaken me. So I'm telling you, these people are damned and they're damned because they're preaching another gospel. They're preaching a gospel of doom. They're preaching a gospel of finance. They're preaching a gospel of stage. Yes, they stage it. Amen. Prophet Manasseh, they stage it, my friend. Yes, they stage it. And, and the church, let, let me say this, my friend. The church is not a stage. The church is not a concert. The church is not a theater. But a church is a house of prayer. But y'all false prophet and y'all false teachers, amen, y'all false prophetess, y'all make these a den of thieves. Amen. So when 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 Paul, hey, glory to God, he said it, my friend. And he said, as we say before, so I say now again, if any man preach another gospel unto you that which ye have received, let him be a curse. So these are the messengers of Satan. Satan comes with another gospel. Look at look at the book of look at the book of Genesis. How Eve got deceived by the serpent. And the serpent say that you should not surely die. Amen. The false prophecy that lack of money is the root of all evil. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, listen. The false prophet will tell you, go claim that woman right there and the woman is married. Go claim that man and that man is a husband to somebody. That's a false prophet. They twist the scripture. That's why we should know the word for ourselves. Amen. The Bible says line upon line, precept upon precept, here's a little, there's a little. Don't let nobody indoctrinate you. Don't let nobody program you. Don't let nobody sucker you. Don't let nobody bamboozle you. Don't let nobody trick you. Amen. Because that's all they're doing. They're trying to soften you. So you believe they junk rather than believe in Jesus. They want you to believe the goodies rather than believe in God. Amen. They want you to believe people. Amen. Rather than believe the potentate. Amen. They want you to believe the soft gospel rather than believe the, the sovereignty of God. Amen. The damn, the damn pastors and the damn prophetess, amen, they're preaching about UFOs. They're preaching about gay sexual, hallelujah, promiscuity. We don't want to hear about that gay stuff on, on you saying God said. God don't expose, God don't expose you. Amen. God don't let everybody hear about the intimacy with him. Amen. And look, look at the woman. Look at the woman that was caught in the act of adultery. Amen. Jesus Christ didn't condemn her. See, because the New Testament, hey, glory to God, the New Testament is about repentance. 
And, that, and that's why that's why David was a was a man after God's own heart. Because David said, Lord, have mercy upon me, Lord, according to loving kindness, according to loving kindness, blot out my transgressions. He said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and a renew a right spirit within me. See, the false prophet don't do repentance. Let me say this, my friend. They do doom and gloom and destruction. But the Bible say, listen, the Bible said the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. I'm talking about the damn, the damn prophet and the damn, damn uh, teachers. They don't preach deliverance. They preach damnation. Amen. They don't preach repentance, return back to God. They preach re replenish. They preach, they preach vanish. They're preaching another gospel. The gospel of God is about mercy and grace. It's not about doom. God want us to be saved. God want us to be delivered. God don't want us to die in our sin. God want us to come back to him. Amen. That's why, hallelujah, that's why, hallelujah, in, in so that's why the first church, the first church, my friend, the church of Ephesus, when Jesus told the church of Ephesus, he said to them, unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, write, these things said he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walk in the midst of the, the seven golden candlestick. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and have found them liars. These false pastors and prophets and teachers are liars, and has borne and has patient, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have someone against thee. And these false prophets, they always dish out your dirty laundry. But Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he give you a dirty laundry, but he give you a solution how to get clean. Hallelujah. And he say, nevertheless, I have someone against thee because thou left thy first love. And somebody come to you, hallelujah, and you say, the Lord said, you must tell them, Hallelujah. Thou had left thy first love. Remember. These false prophets ain't going to tell you to remember. They're going to tell you a doom. They're going to tell you a damn. They're going to tell you you're going to get destroyed. But Jesus Christ said, remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. Jesus Christ saying, Ephesus, remember where you're falling. Remember the house you went to. Hey, glory to God. You dropped your drawers and you had sex. But it's a reason why you had sex. Remember where you fallen so you can stop falling. And the Bible says, and repent. These false prophet ain't tell you to repent. And do thy first work, or else, or else I will come upon thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of this place, except thou repent. These false prophet ain't gonna tell you what Jesus Christ say. They're gonna tell you about doom. And destruction and damnation. But Jesus Christ tell the church, He telling, fallen, repent, first work, and I will come on thee quickly and remove that cancer, except thou repent. Amen. And in another church, the church of compromising. A church of per Pergamos. He said, Unto the angel of the church of Pergamos, write, these things say he which have a sharp Sword with two edge. I'm talking about my friend. These damn pastors, these damn prophets, these damn teachers, they're not preaching the Bible. Jesus Christ put condemnation, but he tells them how to get back with God. These these false prophets don't want people to make them feel good. To make them feel that they're a great one because you're prophesying. Listen, my friend.
Jesus Christ told a letter to the church of compromising, the church of Pergamos, and to the angel of the church of Pergamos, right? These things, these things which he, which have the sharp sword with two edges, I know thy work. Jesus Christ was saying that I know your works and where thou dwellest and where Satan's seat is and how the holds my, my, fast my name and has that deny my faith. Even though these which Antimus was my faithful martyr. Amen. Who was slain among you where Satan dwelt. So this, this was a first martyr in the church. Amen. He said, 14, but I have a few things against thee because thou hast thou has there them that hold the doctrine of of Balaam, you hold a doctrine of idolatry. Who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. 15. So hast thou also them that hold a doctrine of Nicolaitans, which things I hate. Repent. So if these false prophets ain't tell you to repent, they're not, they're not true prophet. They're false prophet. Or else I will come upon thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that ever ear, let him hear what the Spirit said of the churches. To him that overcome will I give to eat of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone and in the white stone a new name written which no man knoweth save he that receive it. My friend, it's so much I can tell you. But what, hallelujah, listen, if, if you have ever have, have, have questioned, and that's what the Bible say, try the spirit, by the spirit, to see the way to be of God, could have been a many false prophets have entered into the world. How you try a false prophet? You try a false prophet by listening to what they hear, listen to what they're preaching. That's what the Bible say, he that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit is said unto church. And there's one more church I'd like to get to, my friend, which is the church. I'm not going to get to a dead church. I'm not going to get a church that, that God has no fault with. I'm going to get to a church that is the seventh church. The church of Leo, the sea. I call it church. This is a worldly church. This is a church that had Jesus on the outside and Jesus Christ say, I stand at the door and knock. The handle is on the inside. God not going to force himself. God going to, God, hallelujah. God said, whosoever will, let him come. Hallelujah. But I'm going to say this, my friend. And the Bible say, 15, I know thy works. Thou art neither cold nor hot. I would you were cold nor hot. So then because you are lukewarm, you are striding the fence. And neither cold nor hot, I will spew. I'm going to reject you out of my mouth. Why, Jesus? Because thou sayest I'm rich and increase with goods. The people, see, people want these, these false prophets only want P-R-O-F-I-T. That's the only thing they want. They don't care nothing about you. They just want profits. They want, bad, they want to know what's in your bank account. I'm talking about Facebook profiles. Amen. And he said, glory to God, because thou sayest I'm rich and increased with good and need of nothing and know that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. He said, I constantly to buy of me gold, try in the fire that thou may be rich and white raiment that thou mayst be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And I know that I will ask thou that thou mayst see. As many as I as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be the zealous therefore and repent. All through the gospel is repentance. God wants you to repent. But these prophets, these false teachers, they don't want you to repent. They want you to be damned. They want you to be doomed. They want you to be annihilated. And he say, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, if any man, God is no respecter person. 
if any man hear my voice, if any man hear the Bible and open the door, I will come to him and sup with him and he with me. What I'm saying to you, the person you'll listen to, Celestial, the master's voice, they are false prophets. She's a false prophet because her message is not a message of the Bible. She's of the Old Testament. She's not of the New Testament, grace and mercy. God is not willing that any shall perish, but all men shall come to repent. The Bible says he's not willing that any shall perish, but all men shall come to repent. That's why we are the salt of the earth. The salt mean that salt mean it preserve. Hallelujah. If we are preserved, we are the light of the earth. Amen. God is not concerned of the death of people. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus Christ came. He came through 42 generation. And he said, great love have no man than this. Then a man laid down his life for his friend. You are my friend if you do what so I command you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm telling you, stop listening to these damn pastors. Stop listening to these damn teachers. Stop listening to these damn, hallelujah, these damn prophetess because they're leading to a place of damnation. Listen. Learn. And love the word of God. Love the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you love the word of God. If their counterfeit comes. Your antenna will go up and say. Nope. It's not of God. It's of the devil. We can't be close to people. And we can't tell them the truth. Hallelujah. Don't hide the truth. It ain't about gut feeling. Stop having gut feeling. You either have the spirit. Or you don't. Because if you have a spirit, you will know when people are false. Because the Bible says this thing was not done. They know in private interpretation. This thing was not done in the corner. Amen. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Without controversy, great the mystery of God. God will manifest the first, justify the spirit, see the angel, believe on the world, and receive up into glory. Be careful who you're listening to. Be careful who you're talking to on the phone. Because people just call not to encourage. People don't call to inspire. People don't just call to be to be inquire and to be nosy. Busy body in other man's matter. My friend, glory to God. How if, if a person come to you and say, Thus said the Lord, make sure God has spoken to you too. Because God is a two-way radio. God is a one-way radio. If, if, hallelujah, if God, if God said you're going to get married, God spoke to you first. Amen. If, 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 if God ain't said it, don't accept it. Don't say amen. Because if you say amen, you're a partaker of the lies they are telling. Amen. We got to be, we got to be soldiers in the Lord. We got to be so, we got to be bold and say, no, it's not of God. It's of the devil. Because the devil twists the scripture. Prove it, preacher. He, he twists the scripture in Psalm 91, 10 and 11. He, 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 he tried to trick Jesus to cast these stones to bread. And Jesus Christ said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. He tried to tell Jesus Christ to commit suicide, but Jesus Christ said, Thus shall tempt the Lord thy God. What you saying, preacher? I'm saying to you, Stop listening to these damn pastors and damn prophetess on YouTube or TikTok. And half of them, half of them don't have a pastor over them. After them, they are self-willed. Like the, like the prophetess, glory to God, in the church of Thyatira, she calls herself a prophetess and seduced by a servant to come in fornication. And God said, I'm going to put her in, in, in a bed. And they that commit adultery with her shall die. Now that's a that's a cause to die. But, you, but some of y'all, y'all want people to die because you hear things on internet. Y'all internet prophets. <laughs> y'all Facebook prophets. 
Amen. Hey, glory to God. Listen, 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 my friend. Now, what he say? He say, verse 20. Of, he said, not, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou suffer that woman, Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, who called herself a prophetess. They call themselves prophetess. To teach and seduce my servant to commit fornication. And fornication is just sex. Fornication is going after other gods. And to eat things sacrificed unto idol. And I gave her a space to repent. Hey, good word again. Repent. Repent. Of a fornication. And she repent not. Behold, I will cast her into bed. And them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. Except they repent of their deed. So if a person ain't talking about repentance, they're a false prophet. What Jesus Christ said, and I will kill her children. Why are you gonna kill her children? Because she didn't repent. And I will, I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am He which searches the rain in the heart, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. It's time for us to preach the gospel. The Bible says, Hallelujah. Preach the gospel, being seasoned, out of season, reprove and rebuke with all long suffering. So I know after I finish this, people are gonna come after me. That's all right. I'm ready. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because I'd rather be on God's term or oh man. Because Paul said, I don't persuade men. I persuade God. If I be a man pleaser, I'm not a servant of Christ. Pull up my records. Glory to God. Pull it up. Cause they know they know one on on this on this planet say that they, they they're not without sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If they if they hang up G, if they kill Jesus, they kill Peter, they kill Philip, they're gonna kill me too. But I'm ready. I'm ready to die. Hey, glory to God. Because Paul say, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Amen. But those damn pastors and the damn prophetess and damn teachers, my friend, they are damn. They are Satan, hallelujah, messengers. Hey, glory to God. And it's time for us as church to call them out. Cry loud and spear and I lift up the voice of trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of America their sins. Hey, glory to God. My friend, that's all I have. May God bless you. May God smile his face upon you. May God let you be a, a person that loves the word of God. Study to show yourself approved unto God. Search the scripture if for any you think you have eternal life for they that testify about me. Be like the church of Berea. They went home and then read. They went home and searched the scripture. But all the thing I'm saying is true. My friend, those damn pastors and damn prophetess. Bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.